Today we're gonna be talking about 10 things Call of Duty World War 2 zombie needs to make everyone wet. And trust, these are the 10 things that I'm pretty sure you want too, because without them we all will be acting like Bob, and we all will be watching frogs jump off of balconies, and trust, it's not a dank meme. But hey, I'm doing a Call of Duty World War 2 giveaway just for the memes, just to build that hype up. With some of my zombie friends, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed with notifications, like the video, and follow the Gleam link in the description, and you are good to go. The winner will be picked prior to the game release, but coming in at our number 10 spot, I'm talking about no early gameplay. Now, this doesn't really bother me, but it really bothers me. Now, check this out, right? Uh, the last DLC we got was for IW. Basically, we got DLC for, for IW, and get this, I haven't even touched the map. And some of you will like, schizzle, well, that's just IW DLC for map. Like, I thought we were neighbors. You already know you shouldn't be playing that map. But hey, uh, I'm saying, Infinity War really did one heck of a job on DLC 4. I think it's great, the super easter egg, they absolutely killed it, but what I'm saying, the early gameplay, alright, it wasn't released 10 hours prior to the map, it wasn't released like a day or two before, it released 5 days prior to the map, which is insane, and it's like, when you get to see the gameplay, you already know what's gonna be in the map, you know how to turn on the power, and it kills that new factor where you're gonna jump in the map, you're not even gonna bother searching for anything, you're gonna be like, okay, well I've seen how to turn on the power, so I'm gonna exactly do what I've seen in a video, right? So it just kills that day one factor and I'm also gonna merge this with my number nine spot and coming in at our number nine spot, I'm talking about getting to see trailers instead of live streams and so far Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies has done a great job. I really hope you get another trailer very soon but for now we only have one trailer so it's keeping that uh, uh, the map very sort of like on the low side of things where we know a little bit about the map but at the same time we don't know too much of it right which is great but I really want one more trailer so I'm saying trailers instead of live streams and this goes for DLCs as well and I would say early DLC events are all right I mean if you get the opportunity it's like one of the best feeling ever to go out uh, go ahead and play something before anyone else right it's just a great feeling so I would say early DLC events are all right but not early gameplay especially like five days before that is not a dank meme and I live off of dank memes right you guys know how it is but ladies and gentlemen at our number eight spot I'm talking about more maps at least two at launch one simple map and small one and the main one should be big packed with content I would say like two maps at launch would do really well remember that time when shadows of evil trailer first dropped and everyone was just like okay it's good but everyone was like man it's like all right but then the giant trailer drop and everyone went bozo, right? That's what I'm talking about. And it's like, it created that hype and everyone wanted to play Shadows of Evil and the giant at the same time. And hey, Shadows of Evil early gameplay got leaked and at that time, a lot of people were getting hype. And the fact that the giant was a DLC map, nobody knew how the map will be played. So people were watching early league gameplay for Shadows of Evil. And when the game first dropped, people needed to download the giant DLC map in order to play, right? So therefore there was like no early gameplay for the giant and instantly everyone jump on the giant and play the map and it was super simple and new at the same time which we like big time in zombies and I feel like this time around having the main map and one on the side would be really damn good but coming in at our number seven spot I'm talking about more effing game modes not just survival because survival has been like the main thing and we have been repeating the shit out of it from 2000 whatever doesn't matter right we have been repeating the shit out of it and I mean that's gonna be something that we will always going to have in zombies and that's great but we want more game modes not just I'm not even talking about grief that should be fun in the next trailer game but I'm talking about something like creating more competition for example having four people or eight players or even 16 players that should be like really damn good and doing this thing called like we all jump in the same lobby we all jump in the game and it's not necessarily like you gotta have all those players in your game in your map but everyone should be competing against each other and you can pull out the leaderboards and you can see Bob has survived like eight rounds and Carlos is on round 100 and he got like that amount of kills Bob got that amount of kills you can see everyone's stats and it's gonna be race against time and let's say the countdown starts and after an hour Bob got you like round 10 and Carlos got you round 20 of course Carlos wins and I feel like that is something 
we need. And of course, if Sledgehammer Games can elaborate that, that would be absolutely beautiful. And if we get something like this in the next track game, that would be absolutely mind blowing as well. Because I feel like playing the game by itself will get boring eventually. But if we have competition, that's gonna last longer, especially if you can do with your friends and online with randoms. But coming in at our number six spot, I'm talking about more zombies type. Now, we all have been hearing like in this game, we're gonna have more zombies type, which can be good. I hope it is. But what if it is annoying? I really do not want this to be annoying, especially not something like, hey, we have to have a special zombie type in order to do a main easter egg. In that regards, it's gonna be frustrating and I wanna tie this with my number five spot and at our number five spot, I got like easter eggs shouldn't be annoying to do. I feel like little easter eggs uh, where we have to have like special zombie type can be great, especially if it's something that like we do and we get rewarded for. In that regards, it's gonna be super, super good. Like what if you have to have a special zombie type, you do something with him like bingo, bango, bango, you get a free perk. In that regards, it's gonna be really, really good. And especially if you can get a Bob looking zombie type in your game and you actually have to have him in order to explore something secretive, like maybe having secret rooms, that would be great. That should be another number on my list, but hey, I'm just gonna put it in right here. I really feel like we need to have good balance and uh, uh, we do not want the Easter egg to be annoying. And speaking of like number five, we had Easter egg shouldn't be annoying to do. And I feel like the Easter egg hunt and seeking should take us like super long. For example, Revelation did a phenomenal job. Like we really took a while in order to like complete the Easter egg. And that was great. But the problem is right now, no one wanna go back and play the map and do the Easter egg. It got super boring and it's really tedious. But looking at the rise and drought, the Easter egg was sold fairly quickly and the steps are really balanced and it makes sense and uh, they are super super easy to do but at the same time not too easy to do because you gotta do Simon Says and that sort of stuff and if you got Bob in your game then you know shit can go downhill so in that regards their eyes on the rock did a phenomenal job so what I'm saying here is that the hunting and the seeking of the easter egg should take us long but when we figure everything out the easter egg is hard but not tedious where if you're playing solo hey you can do the easter egg if you're playing with bob then it's gonna be a challenge but still you can do the easter egg that's what i'm talking about that's what I'm talking about. But hey, at our number four spot, of course, this goes without me even mentioning, I'm talking about good wonder weapons. Having like two different unique, I'm talking about unique, not like Spaceline shit where you had like Reagan looking type of cunt, right? I don't want that. I really want two different individual unique looking beautiful dank Mimi type of wonder weapons like okay I don't want dank Mimi type of wonder weapons I really want like good looking unique wonder weapons in this thing called Call of Duty World War 2 zombies and if you get like four wonder weapons that are like really good and unique then that's a jackpot but if you do end up getting just like two wonder weapons that are unique that's gonna be really really good the map has to be simple and basic but at the same time not too simple and basic, you know what I'm saying, right? But hey, at our number three spot, I'm talking about good areas to train. At least four. That's very important. We really need four areas to train because what if we're playing with this guy by the name of Bob right and Bob is crazy and if, if you got like Carlos in your game or I mean like if you got Alejandro in your game Alejandro and Bob <laughs> not a good meme right so if you got Alejandro we need to direct Alejandro to that spot and we need to direct or redirect let, let's just say that redirect Bob to that training area we really want to have that flexibility and what I'm trying to say here the map should be playable for solo players players and if you're playing with more than one guy or if you're playing with four people in total the map should be playable where everyone can have their own personal training area and of course if you're playing solo then you can easily switch but coming in at our number two spot this one is super important we need the round based system because if we don't have the round based system it's gonna be another extension type of scenario and trust me no one wants that even Bob even Bob told me this once like if we get like extension type of situation in Call of Duty World War 2 zombies I'm gone man I'm just flying back to China well something fell off my table but that's not relevant to this video right but hey Bob actually came back from China and this uh, this Saturday I got something very special for y'all right but Bob came back from China and Bob was like, if we actually don't get the round based system in Call of Duty World War 2, I'm gonna go back to China and I will be staying there. And I trust me, I don't want that. I want Bob to be here so I can make 
those 10 things Bob do or noobs do videos, right? You guys know what I'm saying, but ladies and gentlemen, we need the round base system because that's gonna create a lot of memes. Water is not wet, that's very important. But hey, at our number one spot, I'm coming in with a little banger by the name of Replayability. And that's it, drops mic and the video. Check out some other video on the screen. Uh, if you have missed any of them, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hey, enter in the giveaway, link should be in the description. But we really need that replayability because with the replayability, we will be able to replay the map without getting bored and that is very important important and it's gonna create a lot of beautiful memes in this thing called Call of Duty World War II Zombies.